Hi, I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Today we're looking at a CDVI building access system and how to add cards. So one of the most common things you need to do with a building access system is take your credential and if you have a new person or a new resident uh, and they need access to the building, you've got to add that new person and then attach them to the card and make sure they have the proper access for, for uh, time of day and doors and all that sort of thing. So CDVI makes this really easy. They've got a great web interface and we're going to have a look at how that's done. Uh, but be before we do, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada and please subscribe. That way as we have more CDVI videos coming up, you'll get a notification. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump in and see how this is done. Okay, so uh, this is the CTVI Atrium uh, version is from October 2019. Yours might be a little bit different, and I'm on the user screen right now. So there's different types of uh, credentials. This is a, a CDVI credential right there. Uh, this is another type of credential. So they do come in all shapes and all sizes. Uh, and this is the one we're going to use uh, today. Now, um, these credentials, you can also get them on your smartphone, so you don't even need a credential or a key code or whatever. Um, on the credential, you'll see on here there's a number, and in this these numbers are important. In this case, they're already programmed into the system, so we just need to find it and activate this card. So what I'm going to do is press Control F, uh, and that is going to do a browser find and there's my number so I'm going to search for that and here is the card so I'm going to click on the gear and we're going to open up so this is currently you can see the username and whatnot is cryptic I'm going to add my name in here and so you can see an act activation date. Now these unused cards, they really should be un un unactivated. Whoever set this uh, system up originally uh, should have had all unassigned cards unactivated, but that's not the case. We'll have to do that afterwards. You can set an expiry date, so it automatically locks them out. And then uh, what we want to do is uh, you'll see if, well, let's save this first. But you can see uh, which cards are assigned. In this case, this card with this number is now assigned uh, to me. So we need to sit in here, access levels. And uh, this here is always uh always to all doors now we'll have a look at this access level but this is allows me when i present my credentials what access i have to where so uh let's go to configuration access levels so this is access level always which is right here and this will tell me uh where i have access so i can access the back area or the front retail area and it's as simple as that if you need new uh, cards that you want to add uh, you simply go down here to cards uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a card and then we're going to program in uh, the number that's on the card here to activate and then same thing assign it to a user and we're all done so that was how to add a new uh, user, or employee, resident uh, to the CDVI system and attach a card with schedules and things to them. What I like best about the CDVI system is how simple it is to use and how you can use a web browser to uh, do these uh, common features. So I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Uh, please check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada and please subscribe. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.